Well, Kelly Ring's an extraordinary person. I had a wonderful relationship with her for more than a decade. And I discovered very quickly that she's an incredible wife, mother, reporter, anchor, one of the best friends I've ever had anywhere, anytime. And also, she was incredible with my son, Mark, co-anchoring the news. I'm going to miss all of that. But thinking about all, of we, all the things that we did together, the thing I guess I'm going to remember the most is when we sat down to anchor the news every night, because I knew I could depend on every word she said, every, every, every insinuation that she made. I knew what she was talking about. Uh, I, I never stopped thinking about her when I left this television station. Because the question was, what are we going to do tomorrow? What are we going to do the next time? Where are we going to go together? We went to Saudi Arabia together. We've had some incredible experiences, and I can't tell you how, how important she has been to my life. And I would like to think that she is going to remember all of us as we remember her. And I guess I would say, we love you, Kelly, and we're going to miss you. I couldn't have said it better myself. How about that? Uh, he's pretty good at that. You know, he is. We've enjoyed all these well wishes for Kelly as much as she has, as much as many other people have, many of you, I know. We're reliving some of Kelly's most memorable stories as well, some bloopers as well. But Kelly's career, no doubt, is a tribute to her hard work and dedication, first as a journalist. Uh, now, the gates will open about 2 o'clock. You can start picking up your tickets around noontime. There Kelly came to WTVT in 1985, and she quickly made a name for herself. Astounding. That is the only way to describe the incidents. Her hard work as a reporter meant she rose quickly through the ranks and found herself covering tough stories all around the world, like her trip to Russia with doctors from All Children's Hospital. There's too much here, yes? Twelve Russians crowd into this small operating room to watch two Americans operate. And a look at the poverty in Cuba. Workers are spending so much time on these buildings because eventually they'll actually get to live here. Even Saudi Arabia during Desert Storm. A look at this air base in Saudi Arabia is a very good indication of the enormous amount of equipment the U.S. military moved in a very short amount of time to such a distant land. She's tackled tough issues at home, too. Her series called The Tarnished Years about the mistreatment of senior citizens won her two Emmys. Oh, no. And when three young brothers from Arcadia accidentally got AIDS in a blood transfusion and became the focus of worldwide attention, it was Kelly the family wanted to talk to. You see things, you see the tears, uh, you know, you see the frustration of not being able to be like their friends. She was at Ricky Ray's bedside towards the end of his life. Dang, your mom told me you wanted to talk because you said that this is what AIDS is. This is what AIDS is. This is what it does to you. Her stories brought national attention to the AIDS epidemic and three unknowing innocent victims. Kelly's been there for the good times, too. Gasparillas. And thank you so much for being with us today. What a beautiful day. I'd like to show your logo. A new baseball team. Super Bowl wins. Oh, look at that view. Just soak that in for a second. That is just magnificent. And Stanley Cups. This is their moment to celebrate with their fans, which is just fantastic. The expansion of the first Howard Franklin Bridge. If you commute on the Howard Franklin Bridge, take note any moment now. And now a new bridge to take its place. She's been a calm voice amid some heartbreaking stories and sometimes terrible violence. But for so many years, she's brought us what's right with Tampa Bay, her look at people doing good in their communities. Kelly's favorite person, though, she's ever interviewed, that's an easy one. And he said, you are a perfectionist to the T. Well, I love pursuing excellence. I love competition. And good evening, everybody, and welcome. Leaving the career she loves will be tough. And one thing you can guarantee is that Kelly rings on Fox 13, showing you the news at night. So I know a lot of people are going to be sad when that's not the case. And she's no different than she is on TV. I think she's successful on TV because people, you, you can't pretend to be that kind of compassionate person that's a, a sweet person and it, and it comes through on the camera. But it's time to spend more time with the family she loves so much. And for the Bay Area, who grew up watching you, Kelly Ring, we all thank you. Oh. 
you guys are so kind, yeah. too kind. Oh my goodness, did you see that swooped hair? Well, oh, I was right thinking, did you have a sore neck from that one? I think I might have. What was I thinking? I was thinking of all the hairs. <laughs> Cuba hair was good, and well, then that was, that, that was nice. Tail. And then uh, the one in Kremlin, the Russia hair was okay. It worked well. But the rest there's of there's those a lot are... of different choices. <laughs> I know there's so many. I was able to come over from the kids' table to I, the adult well, table today. I, I it's been a while, which is nice. Nice to see. Well, that was just it means so much to me that you are taking the time to mm. to do that. I don't, I, I don't feel deserving at all. I'm not used to this. Oh, stop. Yeah, but stop. it means yeah. the world to me and to my family and to my family, which you guys are my family. People uh, you know people that. often ask me, you know, what what is the one thing about, about you that I admire? And, you know, I will say this over the years. I, I have never met a person, this is from my heart, who is positive about everything. I mean... Uh, we could go to her and say, it looks like we're being attacked by Russia, <laughs> and true. you would find a way. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. And, and that uh, that trait coming from uh, a negative New Englander is, is something, no. that, something that I, no. I, I, I truly admire because it's it's really something to, to walk through life always looking at the positive side, and that's, that's tough to do. It really is. Well, You've been the bright light in our newsroom, yeah. for sure. That's well, exactly it's, what it was. I feel m like a mother figure for everybody, mm. and I'm trying to, you know, it's faith. And saying, okay, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. And you always listen to me. <laughs> so there, it's gonna be okay. We have no choice. <laughs> that was the real story. We and we have much more to come. Yes. We're not yeah. quite done yet. No, so I awesome. love yes. you guys so love, much. Love you, love you so you much. You know that. that, that you is, know we have that. more to come. Yeah. More All right. Come. Uh, and, and we leave you with typical Florida weather on, on your yeah. last day. Just, mm -hmm. just lots of heat. Take a look outside. Kelly Ring. Kelly Ring, the Kelly Ring that I had a crush on ever since I was a little boy. I think everybody in the Tampa Bay area, probably boys growing up, had a crush on Kelly Ring. Kelly, thank you so much for 37 years. That is pretty awesome. 37 years dedicated to journalism. And most of it to the Tampa Bay area. So thank you so much. We appreciate you. We love you. I enjoyed watching you and still enjoy watching you. Unfortunately, the time is drawing near, but congratulations, and I wish you all the best on your retirement. Wow, Nick Walenda. And how many times have we watched worried about him and that he's going to be okay because he's amazing. And that just means the world. And half all the time of these... he's thinking about you up there. Oh, please. But oh my <laughs> goodness, it's just so special. All right, this is going to be fun. Uh, oh. Live TV never goes quite according to plan. And this is the truth. We know a lot of viewers like bloopers. Occasionally we do. We, and I'm not just saying this, we really had to dig deep for Kelly bloopers. And the reality is there just aren't that many after 37 years, which is really remarkable. There's some. A few. Some we couldn't use. We've had plenty of those lighter <laughs> moments as well. And you know what? We've enjoyed every single one. Our top story, we keep hearing about it elsewhere. Well, the bad Tonight news in TV here. often I outweighs the good. Unless you're a, a Kelly's always kept a smile on air and, and off. You people know we'll never forget that kid in a candy store face when they cut her loose on the front loader outside of Channel 13, helping to tear down the old building. Like every assignment, she never missed a beat. He's has been born to proud parents, or in the newsroom. Donald Maples and Donald Trump. We'll have more. <laughs> it was a beautiful day outside. Uh, she was rarely at a loss for words, but giggles, <laughs> they came easily. <laughs> Kathy popped up and, oh well. And like Kelly's smile, <laughs> her modesty was always on display. In Philadelphia back in <laughs> September, <laughs> don't look, she was sentenced for lying to a federal grand jury and after her release, Kim will remain under house arrest for 30 days. I'd say she's rather independent. <laughs> well, they were flipping and flopping. Oh, in the Mile High City. <laughs> uh, uh, it was the annual flop fest in Denver. The Out there at the Pinellas Expo Center. I'm Fox 13's Nancy Alexander. Calm down, Nancy. The show starts at 8 o'clock tomorrow night at the uh, Pinellas Expo Center, and I'm all choked up. Well, they're very healthy. Why are you choked up? <laughs> What's the matter? Excuse me. Well, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> and it's, September is hard because you want it to be cooler. Right. Everywhere else is cooler, and we're it's, still it's a little tease. Warm. Like you are. Yeah. Okay, thank, <laughs> thank you. you. And her eyes like had a way of doing the talking whenever yeah, she had to read really something thank embarrassing. You, well, the weather affects lots of things, but did you know that hot weather can pour cold water on your love life? Wilson, who was with Always the, the pro, today, Kelly rarely wrestled for words. Mark, what did he see? But when she he did, well, we're getting our costumes ready, Paul, and I guess we're just going to have to go bare. 
closed. What? No, <laughs> not, not really, Bear. There's so many things I can say, but I'm not going to say. No, I don't, <laughs> never mind. You know what I mean. No, I don't. I have no idea what I'm saying. Not at all. She also had a way of making some of us so say things we'd maybe people. like to take back. I know you're a Red Sox fan. What are you going to do tonight if they win? Tell us I'm about really that. I'm not really sure. I'll probably just uh, I'll celebrate. I'll be very happy. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's the curse of the Bambino. We have to break this. It's you're not going to repeat tell what him you what said, he said No, I didn't say anything earlier. Yes, I just you to celebrate. Did. You tell him. I'm not saying that again. You're going to run down. All right, all right. He gave the John Gruden uh, challenge. If the Red Sox win, he will go down Del Mabry. No, no. I said, actually, I said Kennedy. So let's get it straight. Is it Kennedy? It's Kennedy. It's easy. It's right out the front door. Right right now. Now. I, can the, I can go in the fountain and take a, take a leak. Are you really going to do <laughs> I didn't mean that. I mean jump in the fountain. You know what I meant? Paul, there was a mistake. Tell go. us what's going on here today. I'm all discombobulated. You, you know got the Red Sox playing tonight. Go ahead. It's unbelievable. We understand. Go ahead. <laughs> Paul, you were pretty much in every of that one of those bloopers. Just to be clear, but it was it was a leap into the fountain. No, just, you did not say that. You will notice, by the way, there's no more fountain. No, yeah. no so more fountain. That, that, the that next was, day, was, they shut the fountain they, down. They covered it with dirt the next day. Delegato is so not allowed out there. That took no, care of that. I have loved looking at the bloopers, especially this one. It's also good to look back how we looked 15, look 20, at, 25 you see years ago. Look at Mark with his turtleneck. East 12, <laughs> East 12 years old wearing that turtleneck that, that you got from uh, the Gap, I think. And and then, <laughs> yes, yes, and then, yeah. and then oh, you know, fun. see, I worked out. I learned from the best. Right. And that's yes, what you did. So, yes, I know it's fun. We we need those moments. More more uh, text. So we, so you're you're retiring, but the late night text is it going to rain tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. No, and the, Eddie's and going out in the boat, so I'm, I I will continue to be the, the personal uh, boating forecast out in the bay. And which during is always the Bulls games, I'm texting him. I'm nervous. Mm, yeah. I'm nervous. What do you think? And it, they'll always be there. It'll always be there for sure. That's what's important for sure. Anyways. We're doing good. Hope you guys are doing good. Yeah. Let's wrap it up with, with some forecast. Uh, some heat is on the way. Temperatures back in the 90s. Take a look outside. 92 uh, on our downtown Tampa cam. Not a lot. Uh Welcome back. Somebody knows how to draw a crowd, huh? Well, yes. I tell you, this means the world that everybody's here with me and with us because it's a team. It yeah. certainly is. It is indeed. You know, we've we've all talked, I know, especially in the last week or so, and going back for a lot of us last couple of weeks as we uh, let Kelly sign off for the final time. And I know a lot of you at home are thinking, is she really like that? We've heard people talk about how sweet she is and her heart and her passion. Um, there's no doubt she is like that. I do want to say something that I think is really important for our viewers to know. And we have our afternoon meetings when we're sitting around, we're talking about things, when we're Zooming about things, figuring out what to cover. Who is the loudest person in those meetings? <laughs> who is the one who's saying, we need to do this, we need to cover this, we need to cover this? And who gets mad at me sometimes? <laughs> if I don't. And I say that because your, your passion for the truth, for fairness, and for what's right, that has that has has been left on each and every one of us and it'll forever be here in the fabric of this tv station and everything we do and that's because of you well wow. yeah thank you so much i'm gonna miss our sitting here during the commercial yeah. breaks we're talking all the time I'm gonna sometimes miss those getting moments. caught when the, when we come back from the commercial yes. break still chatting <laughs> yes. yeah i'm gonna miss all of that because mm. i really treasure but before we say our goodbye uh for a final time i do want to take uh, just a minute to say a few words and i hold my hand so i don't use my my uh, hand so much but first of all i thank god for giving me my health and ability to do something I love to do. I've spent my entire adult life in this career and I'm very eternally grateful for that. It's been a privilege to be a messenger of the news. We take that so seriously. Coming into your home every night, I, I always took it the most serious that I could. I promise when I am delivering difficult stories like we have right now, it is breaking my heart as much as it is, is yours. And I've always tried to stay the most professional I want to thank my coworkers. Look at this. Mm -hmm. Who are the very best in the business? The very best. Mm -hmm. uh, I love, I admire all of you more than you ever would know, more than I could say. Many of them are, are here with me today, and that means so much. I can tell you, viewers, you're in great hands because these are the best in the business, the best in the country. And, and I want to thank our viewers. They've been so loyal. You've all been so loyal. Many of you I've met along the way. I'm very grateful for that. I would not have been here so successful without you. 
And finally, I want to thank my family. My family is here with us today. My, my husband, my precious children, my sister who's watching right now, my parents who are, okay, looking down, I hope. Uh, so they proud. Are. They are. So I want to say thank you so much for allowing me to come into your home every night. It's really been an honor. And God bless and good night. Love you.